Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to use creative custom animation to present your PowerPoint maps better. In my last video about three ways to present your PowerPoint maps better, I told you that I would show you a very useful technique of using custom animation to present your maps better. I showed you how to create a beautiful effect of bringing a particular country into focus and then providing details and this you do so that you have different countries brought to highlight and you would be able to talk about them. So this was the technique that I introduced in the earlier uh, video about three ways to present your PowerPoint maps better and I am going to teach you that beautiful custom animation effect in this video. To keep things simple, I am going to show you how the effect works with two countries instead of three countries. Once you understand how this technique works with two countries, then you would be able to expand the idea to as many countries as you want. The two countries that I have chosen are Iceland and India. And let us see how the technique works. The first thing I am going to do is to go to animations and keep the animation pane open so you can clearly see what I do here. Let me slightly expand this so that everything is clearly visible. The first thing I am going to do is to make this particular shape move forward while growing. So I am going to apply two custom animations. The first custom animation is to make this shape move from here to here so that it's a little more visible. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to apply the custom animation called motion path. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to pick up this lines motion path animation. I'm going to click on that and you can see here that this is the path from here. It comes here. So let me move this whole thing slightly. And so on a click this goes from here to here. Now while this happens, I want this to grow in size as well. So I'm going to apply the next custom animation. I don't want you to choose any of these animations because that will replace the existing custom animation. So let us go to add animation option. And this time the animation that I'm going to use is grow shrink animation under emphasis. So let us go to grow shrink and you can see that this is the way the shape grows. And let us go here the small right arrow, the small arrow here to the right of this animation event and let us go to effect options and let us increase the size to say 250%. So let us click on this drop down menu and let us say uh, 250% and you can see that that is the amount that we entered and I'm going to say OK. So as it moves from here to here, it is also going to grow to 250%. And since this is going to happen with it, I'm going to say with previous. Now we don't want this to happen so slowly. So let us select both of them and let us have this happening for 0.5 seconds. So let us play this. So it moves from here to here and it has grown to 250%. Beautiful. Now once this is done, I want this box to appear. So I'm going to select this and say animation and fade animation. And this is going to happen after it reaches here. So I'm going to say after previous. So there are three animations. One is it goes from here to here. Second is it grows while it goes from here to here. And third is after it happens, this particular text appears. So we've got three animations done. The next step is we need to add another animation so that the piece here, the one that has moved from here to here and that has grown needs to go back to its original place. So we are going to add another custom animation to this. So I have selected this piece and I'm going to say add animation and let us say more motion paths or you can of course go all the way down and use lines animation. It is up to you. So we have added yet another animation. Now you can see here that there is a small adjustment that we need to make. The animation shows that it starts here which is in the green point and ends here which is the red point. But we want this to be reversed. So first I'm going to take the green point which is the starting point of this animation and I'm going to make it correspond with the previous animation where it ends. So you can see that it, it snugly snaps into the starting position and then the end position has to be the starting position. So I went here and then I reversed the path. Once I release the mouse, you can see that it beautifully uh, locks itself to the starting point. So there are 
two animations in the first instance it is going from here to here and now in this case it is going from here back to here now there is one more thing that we need to do and that is while this is happening it also has to go back to its original size remember when we did this animation it has grown to 250 percent so for it to go back to 100 percent we need to do a bit of calculation the calculation is 100 by the amount that you expanded it so 100 by 250 that is 100 over 250 percentage 100 over 250 is 40 percent so we are going to add a gross shrink animation and we are going to enter a custom value of 40 percent so to do that let me go to add animation let us go to gross shrink animation which is in the emphasis and the way that we are going to apply this is we are going to go to this uh, effect options here by clicking on the small arrow here and this time we are going to add a size custom of 40 percent and then we are going to say OK and we are going to have these for just uh, 50 seconds, sorry 0.5 seconds and then as you can see on a click we are able to get this one going back and this it has to shrink in size simultaneously so we are going to say with previous and then while that happens we want this to be removed so we are going to add another animation where this one fades away this is an exit animation and we are going to fade it out so that is going to happen after previous so let us see the the entire animation in motion so let us go to the slideshow on a click from here to here and it has grown and we have given the highlight and then this goes back to its original place and then we have got the text box removed so that is what is the uh, sequence of animation and now we are going to apply the same thing for this one as well now i'm not going to do the entire rigmarole once again i'm just going to take this and i'm going to go to animation painter and then i'm going to click on this piece here so that it is able to follow all the exact steps that i had already defined all i need to do is to make sure that this position is redefined in this case you can see that it is coming here so let us move it somewhere closer to this and this one we are going to move it to this that's it so it is going to expand and show here and then it is going to go back to its original place now whatever was the animation for this we need to have it for this one as well so we select this go to animation painter and we are going to click on this text box and you can see that these two animations are there now we just need to readjust the positioning of this like the way that we did here so in the first case the third animation is this uh, entrance animation so i'm going to select this and move it slightly up and then the uh, this animation is exactly as per the previous one that's it so now let us go here click goes expands and then the animation and then it goes back and this is removed same way this expands animation and then it goes back and then that is removed so that is how we present each of these countries and then show the information now you might have a small doubt is it a bad idea to move these countries from their original location and then make them come to a different place will it confuse the audience yes it might and I wouldn't use this particular technique the way that I had shown you. The way that I would normally do that is, let us say I want to talk about Germany and I want to show uh, details about a particular province. The way that I would do is I will select that particular province and make it grow and come outside here and then I will give the details about it and then I will make it go back to its original location so that people will never have any confusion about what I am talking about so make sure that such small details are taken in mind and talking about this it is always useful to have such editable maps available with you all the time especially if you are a business presenter and the editable maps are available as a bundle and they are called 219 editable maps for powerpoint and it is available for sale in presentationprocess.com the link to this product is available in the description box below this video. You can click on the link, explore more about these editable maps for PowerPoint and you can get this useful product. The small one-time investment you make allows you to get access to all kinds of maps that you would require for your business presentations. 
we have maps of just about every country you would ever require you can see that we have maps for different continents and let us say if you want to take a particular continent like say asia maps you would be able to get far more details about uh, the various countries in asia and Middle East as you can see here we have Asia and Middle East detailed map here and then you have the individual countries very beautifully shown and let us say you want to show India you have all the states very beautifully uh, shown here as well and as I mentioned earlier everything is very clearly editable and if you want the whole outline shown you can always move this like this and you can use it so it is uh, totally versatile and you have countries of all type and you have states and provinces shown for each of the countries and it is a very very useful tool for you to have so i highly recommend that you go to our presentation process site by clicking on the link in the description box below and get your 219 editable maps for powerpoint product and as a thank you for watching this video this far i am happy to invite you to our five day free email course called 25 creative powerpoint ideas this free email course offers you 25 practical PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next business presentation. You can enroll to this course by clicking on the link here. So please click on the link, join the free course and I will see you inside.